Welcome, please come in. This is our studio space where we hold events and classes. And as you can see, we have a display of different cakes, sizes, shapes and designs. All this is for you to get inspired to design your own wedding cake. Let's start the tour. Follow me. This is where we photograph the cakes before they go out to the destination. And our first stop is going to be the flower room or the sugar room. Everything in this room is edible, including our dedicated confectionery artists. Our main media is called sugar paste or sugar dough. And this is how we make all the flowers you see here. By making each petal separately, we can then tie them together. We can create the full blossom. We've been working a lot on pure snow white ranunculus. It's such a sweet flower, but very labor intensive because there's so many layers and layers of petals. This cake was created for the Four Seasons Hotel downtown when it opened. Uh, it's such a modern contemporary hotel that you don't have walls of marbles. Everything is divided into sections or tiles. We chose white cherry blossoms because they just feel a little bit more designer as opposed to a huge collection of sugar flowers. Some of our cakes are over the top and this is held back so you come in and look at the details. I'm always afraid of running out of decorations for the cakes. So ahead of the season we prepare as many flowers as we can. These are the bud roses in very light green, they're called jade roses. Stephanie is making rose petals and then Jackie is making a different flower called the Xianthus. This is our secret petal machine. You can see take out spoons glued to the board which will help uh, create the curve of each petal. Orchids can be fantastic when they are in saturated shades. All these are hand painted. Besides having a collection of our flowers like roses and orchids, we always have to make new ones just for specific weddings. So this is for later on, sugar stephanotis on the vine, tiny hydrangeas, and two sizes of white pure phalaenopsis orchids. Uh, Katie is making a template or a stencil for a very, very special client of ours. This is one of the houses he used to live in. Can you tell it's the White House? And just a little cake we whipped up for you. <laughs> this is a seven-tier cake. The top tier, we like couples to save them, well wrapped in plastic in the freezer for a year. This cake it will be better presented in the center of a room, so guests can walk around and see all the details. Some designs are better against the wall or in a corner, but this is definitely interactive. This is our kitchen, a little noisier, come in. These are the reaching refrigerators and freezers where we store layers of cakes. So each layer is pre-baked and marked and separated. So these are for in and out, quick reach. I'll show you later the bigger fridge. Oh, so the former resident of the White House is gonna get a vanilla cake with black cherry filling and Mexican hot chocolate. Phoenix, of course. It's gonna be delicious. These are Valrona chocolates pearls. The inside of each milk chocolate caramel pearl, there's a tiny crunchy cookie. 
So you first have the chocolate melt on your tongue and then you can uh, indulge in the crunchiness of the center. So once we dealt with layers, filling and icing, we start stacking the cakes into the structure of a wedding cake and then they come to the walk-in refrigerator. So we have cakes in different stages of completion. This is actually the first step after baking the layers and preparing the buttercreams. You see alternating layers of vanilla chocolate, vanilla chocolate cake. This is really the vault where you can see our gold bouillon. One of the secrets, we've been using French style butter which is very high in butter fat. Of course it's more costly, but the results are incomparable. So I'm glad to see that towards the end of the day we have check marks on all the cleaning and organizing tasks. And I always advise brides and grooms before the wedding when you go and have a cake tasting, inspect the space, the kitchen where the cake is going to be baked. You want to make sure it's spotless and that your cake is being handled professionally. Honestly, some of the tools here I don't even know what my crew uses for. Lots of clips and, and, and stuff. I just like to do the icing. So, bakeries always run out of space. Storage is such an important part of our environment. I was very lucky to be able to move to a whole floor and destruct everything or remove everything that was here and rebuild the way we wanted to. Our closets contain everything we need on a typical day. Paper ribbons, silk ribbons, wires for cake making, my molds, liquid food colors sorted by the color. A little bit obsessive, but it helps. More colors. These are shoe racks that we use to dry the flowers. We build those turntables ourselves with simple gadgets we found out in the hardware store because we simply cannot find large enough turntables to support the whole cake. Brushes, dry pigment wall arranged by shades. For each flower that we make, we created a kit. So when I start working on sugar phalaenopsis, for instance, I don't have to look around, everything is here. Small rolling pins. Everywhere you walk in this bakery studio, you'll find different sizes of measuring rulers because we always measure the flowers we do, the cake tiers, even ourselves, we always have to measure. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot that you're shooting. <laughs> the most important thing for anybody who plans a wedding is to go and visit the bakery, see where the cakes are being made, what kind of techniques are introduced by the baker, are they copying things that already exist, do they create something new? Are they understanding your wishes? Can they figure out how to come up with something just for you? Hi, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out our channel for new videos every week. The subscribe button, it's up there.